Angada, I made little Grinches for you. Yeah. <laughs> Let me pop that up. Yeah. What do you want? You want the banana? It's good if you just like mix the whole thing together. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Someone talking? Yeah, you hear him talking out there? <laughs> he gets banana and grapes every day. But he doesn't always get strawberries. Yeah, get the whole thing. What are you, what are you doing? You're just taking the hats off of all of them? Hmm. Want one, Jack? I would love one. I have no hands. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course, I'm here with the cutest boy in the whole wide world, Mr. Angara. And I decided to make Grinches today for his snack because it's starting to get cold. And I guess the week after Halloween is Christmas for most people. <laughs> what did you eat? Did you eat all the bananas? Are you still eating the banana? Mmm, so good. So, on an average day, Angara eats an apple, carrot, banana. He eats maybe a quarter of a sweet potato. Um, what other kinds of uh, fruits I have? He always eats maybe a third of a head of lettuce. Um, he, he drinks a lot of water. He loves water. He eats that power pudding. That he, so he eats that power pudding that I make for him every night. So I'm good as a really good eater. But I like just giving him snacks and just experimenting with him every once in a while. You don't need those. Yeah, that was just to keep it together and make it look cute, huh? Yeah, we'll get rid of those. Are you done? Do you want to go see what today's adventure is? We're getting ready for the winter. Let's go. So today we started putting that up, which now that I'm looking at it, I put it up inside out. Oh no. You know what? It'll probably still work. I'll just, we'll see. I don't know. So I have to put a whole bunch of plants in there. We have some plants that can't handle the cold. It is supposed to get cold this winter, um, or actually this week. Our winters are generally pretty mild. So the averages, through um, December, January, and February are like low 60s. And the lows are high 30s, I guess. So we actually have a pretty mild winter and we're in November right now. Look at this. I have marigolds coming up. <laughs> we should go see my trumpets in a second. Um, I did, oh look, sunflowers. November, sunflowers. <laughs> That's awesome. You might have also noticed the guy behind me. Alicia and Aaliyah actually live with me and they're not very happy about this guy still being up. But because I still have flowers, I think I'm gonna leave him up because it's keeping the bunnies and the deer away. The deer come in here, they eat all of my marigolds. The bunnies are eating my sunflowers. That is so rude. So I'm sorry guys. I think he's gonna stay up until everything dies out for the winter. <laughs> Let's go see the trumpets, they're so pretty. Look at all those trumpets. They call them Brigmansia, if I'm saying that right, or Angel's Trumpet. But they're doing so well right now, I'm so excited. Oh, you gonna take one? We, we just, we'll just put that down there. It's still pretty, yeah, good job. <laughs> so those are being protected from the bunnies by Argos. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so the bunnies don't come in Argos' yard. So some of the things actually do survive a little better here, but out there, the bunnies can get to it. So I guess we're leaving up the scarecrow. What about all the other animals? We have other animals. Let's go see what we do with the elephant and the tiger. How about that? Angara, are you ready for a nap? You ready for a nap and we'll go get Bub Bub? Yeah? <laughs> you want some cereal? Yeah. Ah. So Bub Bub actually gets cereal as a treat every day. But on top of that, she eats four or five bales of hay, right? She eats 25 pounds of raw fruits and vegetables. Um, she eats something that's called elephant chow. It's made specifically for elephants to give them all the nutrition that they need. Um, she also eats grain. She wants to eat it right out of the box. Um, but for heating her, we actually have a huge barn for her to go into. That barn, can you hear me over the crunching? <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> She's trying to get as much as she possibly can at once. <laughs> She's gonna get it. Yeah. Look at that. She only left a couple. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Actually has heated walls and a heated floor. Bubbles, because she knows she's safe, will actually lay down for a couple hours a night. But a lot of elephants in the wild, once they reach an adult size, they actually never lay down again. So they sleep standing up. Bubbles will lay down on that heated floor if she wants to, 
or if she doesn't feel like laying down, she can just lean against those heated walls. So that's how we keep bubbles warm in the winter. Although she actually does not mind the cold as much as I do. She'll swim in the river when I will not. So I just send her in with the dog and they can have fun and then we dry her off and heat her up later. But yeah, it's actually pretty easy once you're set up for an elephant to keep her warm in the winter time. Love you, Bob Bob. You're such a good girl. So this tiger, as you can see, is pretty mobile. You could just pick him up and take him anywhere and keep him warm. The bigger tigers, of course, we actually have a big heated barn for them to go into, just like the elephant, right? They can go in there in the summer and cool off, or they can go in there in the winter and heat up. But the crazy thing is tigers actually live from Siberia all the way down to the island of Bali, right? So there's a crazy story about a tiger that was just like laying down waiting for somebody in Siberia. It was negative 30 degrees. He melted the snow. That's crazy. So we actually keep our tigers in huge groups in the middle of the summer. It could be 85 degrees and they'll be all dog piled on each other, just sleeping. They don't care that it's hot. They still cuddle. Um, in the winter time, it's rare, but sometimes it freezes and they'll break through ice to get into the water. They love every temperature. <laughs> You did pretty good, kid. Oh, just like I've always said, new sights, sounds, and smells. So we're just taking them for a ride. Just uh, letting them see all the sights. Huh. And you can tell he's having a good time. <laughs> Let's go back and see if Angara's awake. All right, Angara's awake from his nap. And I forgot, when I went to Walmart today, I found rambutan. Have you guys ever had rambutan before? It is so weird. So it's like, it's hairy, but it's like soft. It's not like a peach, which actually a lot of people. Did you hear him? He made the happy noise. Are you happy? It's so good. Have you guys ever had a lychee before? This is very much like a lychee and it's hard to get into. Like if you hate texture, you will hate biting into it, but I don't care. It has a thick skin and then that inside is super sweet. So you can just pull that thick skin off. And then there's a huge seed in the middle. So you can just kind of like throw the whole thing in your mouth like he did, or you can slowly try to chew around the seed, but there's a huge seed in there. It's really mild, sweet. All of the apes love rambutan when it's available. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing, you know, some of the preparations we have to do for winter. Of course, like I said, it's a really mild winter. I have a friend who runs a zoo in Maine. Whew, yeah. She's got her work cut out for her. For us, it's very, very mild. Of course, we live here 24 seven. There are people all around the property constantly looking at the animals and like the chimp, the big boys, they come in, they sleep in the house at night with us. So they always have the proper heat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't, why not? Subscribe, like, comment, and remember, stay loud.